What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing coming back at you with another video and today Cobalt Aquatics had a smoking deal at one of my LFS's. They were kind of liquidating their inventory and I saw their um, Rescue Air USB battery pump available and I wanted to check out how much it was and it was $13. I was like, I'll take both of them right now. They're normally 40 bucks each. So I think this is a smoking deal and I needed a little bit of redundancy in my system to help with any power outages until I get a battery backup. Now the best part about these little USB battery uh, powered air pumps is that they can buy you precious time when you are not around the tank to allow more oxygen to get through the water and to protect your reef. So guys let's do an unboxing and see what we got. So you can kind of see I decided to buy both of them. And this is very, very similar to the other um, USB air pump, except this one has the airline tubing and an air stone and a little battery bank. And it has the same output as the one I just reviewed. So if you watch my previous video, this is exactly the same thing, just a different color. So let's open this up and see what we got. Well, um, looks like I got screwed and they didn't put a battery backup in here. All right, let's check the other one. Ah, there it is. Okay, so this one came with the battery backup. Now they should have came with two, but I'm guessing someone stole it out of the store or I have no idea. They were liquidating them. I guess someone decided to get sticky fingers. But that kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But luckily I do have some battery backups around as you saw in the previous video. So this is a little battery backup. So you get the battery backup here. You get the little adapter with the wall wart. You get the charger for the battery backup. You get a little air stone. You get the pump itself. And you get the airline tubing, which is like not much tubing at all. All right guys, so let me make this nice and pretty and I'll be right back. All right, so here's how it's all laid out minus the one battery backup. Kind of lame, but hey, whatever. I don't really need the battery backup, I have some. This is kind of what you get in the box. Not a bad deal. For 13 bucks though, I really can't complain about a little battery backup because I already got some. And you can buy them super cheap on Amazon and you can get way more than this is 2600 milliamp hour battery. So not the, you know, the greatest, ac oh, come on focus, yep. Yep, so 2600 milliamp hour battery, not the greatest. The good thing is right out of the box, it's already pretty much charged. Now, I suspect that this will be the same exact thing as the um, USB battery backup because it's literally exactly the same stats except different skin and you get a little bit of add-ons and additions. So let me charge these puppies up and we'll get started. So guys if you watched my last video about the USB Air this is the same exact thing. Same um, layout for the buttons. Push once it's on. Push again and then it goes into a 10 second interval where it's on for 10 seconds then it's off for 10 seconds. This extends the battery. Now this is what I think that they've kind of done to uh, pack the numbers or pad the numbers. There you go, now it's off, and then it'll kick back on in 10 seconds. Now, what we really wanna do is see if it kicks on when it loses power. So I've turned it off completely. Okay, so now it's on, and I'm gonna hit this button to turn it on. 10 second timer. Now it's kind of on the standby mode waiting for the power to kick off. And then when the power kicks off, we'll wait a couple seconds. And then now it's kicked on. So pretty faithful, pretty reliable. No complaints here. So guys, let's do a comparison. This is my AquaTop um, battery powered air pump and it's used as a backup. So I cut the power to the pump and now it is pushing out 2.5 liters a minute of um, air. And the main thing with this is this pump, it is um, C power battery. So when you put a C power battery in it, it'll pump through and it's not really rechargeable. Now the good thing about 
these cobalt batteries are that they're rechargeable. So let's put this cobalt battery back up on and see how strong the air pump is. And that is with the rescue air pump on. Now the rescue air pump is pushing um, 19 gallons per hour or 72 liters an hour. So a little bit less, it's running on one watt. And I believe that this would actually run a little bit longer than that C powered battery. Now I can't really tell a difference in the air quality, I think it's about the same, maybe a tad bit less, but that's what you would expect. Another thing I really like about this air pump is that it's really quiet. Now, if you're wanting to know what's going on with an air outage or a power outage, and you wanna hear that air kick on, that may be a problem. I'm sure if you can listen in, you can kind of hear it. Um, but overall, not too bad, pretty quiet. You'll be able to hear it if you try, but if you listen carefully, I can't really hear it over top of the water. It's very minor. Okay, so what I did on the last video was I compared this air pump to a 60 to 100 gallon um, Tetra Whisper filter or air pump. And this is running at five watts. Now I've taken it off and let's see how well it works with just the rescue air. See if you can notice a difference. So the rescue air is on right now. Not bad, that's the rescue air. And then let me pop it off and put on the five watt, 60 to 100 gallon um, Tetra. So you can see, yeah, there's a difference there. And keep in mind that Tetra is a dual pump. And with that being said, you know, you're getting about half as much uh, power from it. But still, that Tetra is like plugged in and it's pulling five watts. And this little guy is pulling one watt. Not much at all in the grand scheme of things. So like I said before, this rescue air pump can push 19 gallons per hour out of it, and then it can go down to a depth of 60 inches, so pretty respectable, that's a fair distance. And it only draws a one watt, which is amazing. So everything is looking pretty good for this. Now it's time to do the test. It claims 72 hours of runtime. Let's see if that's true. All right guys, so just like the last time, I have taken the little wall wart section off. I have connected it to the battery, and now I'm gonna connect the battery to the rescue air. So let's see how long I can get this thing to run off of this and the extra battery bank. Now, do I think I'm gonna get 72 hours? I think I'm gonna get about half of 72 hours. So I'm thinking around the 36 hour mark. So. Um, it's about 8.30 today, so I definitely see this lasting tomorrow and then maybe into the morning of the next day. So let's start it now and I'll come back and let you know how long it lasted. All right, so it turns out that this with the battery backup running at, you know, full, full bore, it only lasted about 14 hours, then it stopped. And I have no idea why it stopped because there was still a little bit blinking here. So then I started it back up again and it's been going for another hour and a half and then it stopped and then now I turned it back on again. And usually when it gets to this point, especially when it was on the other USB uh, cobalt backup, or it kind of just would turn on for 10 minutes, turn off, turn on for 10 minutes, turn off. That means you're at the very end of the battery life. So as far as having 72 hours of battery, it looks like it's closer to 16, which means the other one where I was estimating because it died over the night that it died around the 12 hour mark, I'm guessing it probably only lasted 10 to eight hours. And it just stopped again while I was grabbing this box. So as far as the 72, hour, uh, 72 hours of power, eh, I don't think that's true. That's more of a reef fantasy as opposed to reef reality. Now, if you do set it up to the 10 minute on or 10 second on, 10 second off interval. Maybe you could extend it, but man, I would only expect this to be around the 70, not even the 72 hour mark, maybe the 40 hour mark if you're lucky. I mean, 72 hours is a stretch for this device. However, this device really is important if you just need a backup in case the power goes out because if the power goes out for an hour or two, you're totally covered, no big deal. If you have an extended power outage, would I trust this thing? Well, if you are got an extended power outage, you're most likely gonna be home and you'll probably have a battery bank where you can plug it into. I would guess that this is gonna last eight to 10 hours and then you can plug in the battery and just run it on the 10 second on, 10 second off. 
All right guys, so for 40 bucks, is the Cobalt Rescue Air a buy? Well, it's on sale on the Black Friday specials. So if you wanna do that, I would say hop on it because you do get the airline tubing and you do get, um, you know, the little air stone and the battery backup. But if you don't really need the tubing, the air stone or the battery backup, go and get the regular USB uh, air pump because it comes with, it's the same exact pump and you can get the dual one and it's gonna give you the same amount of lifespan, except that you would be able to put in that battery backup onto this rescue air. Now, if you already got a battery backup, like one of these USB uh, battery banks, you could just, you know, skip this product entirely and just use it on the USB um, cobalt air pumps and that would be the same exact thing. So guys, that is my review on the Rescue Air. Is it a buy? Well, I would say, depends on your situation. Like I said, I am really happy with it because I got it for like a smoking deal and my friends Wayne and Mike are gonna be getting these for Christmas presents. So Wayne and Mike, these will be coming your way. Hopefully you can set it up on a quarantine tank or Mike put it on your main display because it's definitely gonna help save you in case of a power outage.